Welcome, welcome to uh, podcast. Podcast. It's uh, it's the new thing. Podcast question mark. What can I say? So my name's Josh. You can call me Fridge. Uh, the first episode. Welcome. To, you know, welcome everyone here. Glad to have you. Um, and if you know any any and all interest is uh, greatly appreciated. But uh, I think I'll start this one off with uh, a bit of bit of fun facts about me. So my name's as I say, my name's Josh. You can call me Fridge. Uh, I'm from the UK, and I'm currently studying physics at university. Um, and I'm joined here today by my good friend and co-host uh, Wolfie. Hello, my name is Wolfie, or Ned, if you will. Um, I'm Norwegian, I live in Norway, uh, and I'm at uni studying computer science. Oh, damn, no way. So, so as you guys can all probably guess, uh, me and Wolfie, we, we, we've known each other a while now. Yeah, we, we go way back. <laughs> way, way back. Is it? <laughs> Do you remember the first time we fucking met? It was on, uh, what was it? It was on GTA or something? Yeah, it was, it yeah, was yeah through, GTA. It through, yeah, it was through Craig, it was wasn't it? Through Craig, yeah, he introduced uh, us, because I think he said, quote, I need a good, we need a good pilot or whatever. <laughs> and you were the guy. I don't know what he was on that day because I'm pretty fucking shit. But I mean, I try my best. I think that's what matters most of it. You're the least shit, so that's that's something. Well, yeah, but um, so so the goal of of podcast, uh, and you have to say it like that, podcast, because it is a question. Um, the goal here today is to um, well, the whole goal of the show is to just basically have a few bevs. I know I've got one, Wolfie. I'm hoping you do too. Of course, of course. Why wouldn't I? Have a few drinks. Bring on some yep. guests from time to time, uh, and just generally chat, have fun, see what happens, see as the mood goes. Uh, as you could probably tell, we are freehanding it right now. We have no idea what's going to happen, but I think that makes it more interesting. Well, you know, it's the best way to do it. No need to make it complicated. Oh fuck, that Jager bomb did not go down well. <laughs> I made an atrocious mix. I put a double shot of Jaeger into like a half of Red Bull, and that is, um, wow, that was not very appetizing, uh, to say the least. But I think actually, I think I think that's a pretty good topic for the first stream. Uh, so, yeah. drunk incidents. Uh, Come on, you got to have like a to couple. Be fair, to be fair, I don't really. My problem is, is I don't really drink much outside of with you over Discord. <laughs> What are you trying to say? I'm a bad influence. Oh no, it's just, I just... Honestly, I don't know who else to drink with. I'm not a big party person, so I don't really don't really enjoy those kinds of events. Not a big party person. I tell nah. you what, um, for the love of God, do not ever host a party. I have <laughs> I have heard the stories of, of uh, the, the absolute violation of human rights at like people's parties and it's always the, f the the poor fucker who has to host it he's the one who gets stitched and left with all the mess oh yeah That's... well honestly I, if i were to do anything with a party i wouldn't be hosting it especially Would... considering i'm in like a flat and there's other people well, yeah, I think that's uh, that's quite a big, that's quite a big thing you need to probably consider. Um, yeah, you got the other. Yeah, exactly. So you've got to deal with other people. Um, imagine. <laughs> it's a big problem, honestly. Bro, you've been living away from home far longer than I have, and I'm a year older. It's honestly like, how the fuck did you end up here? Um, I don't know. I enjoy it more. I don't know why. I guess it's like, just just built different, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, he's stitching his parents here tonight, saying he'd rather live away from them. What if? Whoa, whoa! Run that back! <laughs> <laughs> whoa! They gave. I mean, whoa! No no, 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 no! Listen, there's like nothing to do back there. It's in like That's a fucking. Fair. Your family so makes rural. up eighty percent of the fucking population of Norway. Like. Yeah, it's not. It's not too many people. You know. It's you know most of them. I do, I do. I do. Most of us like, know each other. <laughs> like you've made up, you made up the whole of it. Although it's not as bad as Ireland, um, I uh, swear Ireland. to God, it's like an art form how these people leave their house and go, Ah, do you know me? Like I know this guy's, this guy's, that guy's sister's cousin twice. It's like that scene from fucking Hot Fuzz. It's like 
like twice removed cousin that's also divorced and, and lives alone, but she has a son that she kind of may have had like eight years ago. Yeah, I went to school with him. Do you know him? And then they'll just come back and I'll be like, yeah, no, I don't know him, but I do know that he knows that I know that, he, that there's this guy. <laughs> and they'll do, I, I swear to you, it's like a fucking art form, these people just talking. Like, they just go out and they just... They just know each other. It's 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 fucking mental. Honestly, it's interesting how like both Ireland and Norway have very similar populations, like the amount of people. Oh, here he goes. But, rip but the, the diff. Oh no no no! That's not the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I could do that. Yeah. Say so like, we got we got an Irish guest coming on next episode. So, oh yeah no! So so I was just saying it's it's, it's it's interesting how you know similar population, but while Irish people are. I guess stereotypically are more social. The region people just to keep to themselves and like everyone's I guess cold in a way. I wouldn't inherently call Irish people social. I have to watch oh, my no. language here or I may get car bombed, but Oh yeah. Uh, but yeah. like, you know, um, But I mean like stereotypically wise when you think Irish you think yes, you know. They do they do tend to know each other. I think that's the, that's the thing with like stereotypes and stuff, um, is that they're like almost there's a reason that they're, there they're is a stereotype. True. Yeah. No, I don't want to say it's almost true because that feels a bit wrong, mm -hmm. if you will. Um, but like, okay. it's, but like, they come about for a general reason because there is a general trend deep in there. Um, mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. thing is, is that as time goes on, the stereotype remains the same, but the trend changes, and that's where the real problem <laughs> with stereotypes comes. Um, but some things just don't change, or at least in my opinion. But maybe, maybe yeah. I'm just out of pocket saying that. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't uh, be the first time I've made a controversial statement, but here we are, six minutes uh, into the first podcast, and uh, I may have just already outed myself. Uh, well, honestly, it could be worse. Could be worse. Yeah, it's not too bad, is it, though? Exactly. Who's, who's, it's the internet. It's fine. It's fine. Um, but I mean, the internet. Fucking hell. That's mental to think. It's mental to think that the, the, this is going to end up on the internet. Oh yeah, I mean, I mean to be fair, the internet has come very far. Well, its success and stuff is obviously like, meh. I mean, if it succeeds, uh, then I'd be happy, I'd be over the moon. Um, but if it doesn't, it's, uh, it's it's the internet. It's the internet, yeah. You know who's gonna miss it? <laughs> oh Jesus! But anyway, back to uh, drunk incidents. Um, oh yeah, drunk incidents. Yeah, like I said, I don't really, I can't say I really have any. Oh come on. Something surely, or, or not much. I've been I've been drunk with friends, but I don't overdrink to the point where I, I'm not in control. I guess. I've definitely never done that. Hmm. Oh yeah, I wouldn't know. You wouldn't know what do you want no. to. Do? It so was a light. What the, tro the, the trolley story? Well, not the trolley oh, yeah, story. Let's go. The toilet story. Well, yeah, yeah, there, there's, there's loads of stories here. We'll start with the trolley story. Okay. So I remember there was a little while back, uh, it was me and a couple of mates of mine just going around town. I, I, I live in a, or I lived in a fairly rural area. Um, and so we were just on the piss and stuff. And then one of my mates just goes, oh, let's bounce. This is, this is dead. Um, and you just leave the club. And I genuinely don't know. And I'm half tempted to call witchcraft um, because this trolley just appears. I, I, I cannot Magic. <laughs> exactly I cannot for the life of me <laughs> fathom how this trolley just appears in front of them and then all of a sudden <laughs> he's like oh get in the trolley I'll push you and I'm like oh no um, and there's this there's this video on my snapchat story of just him like my mate it's this fairly small lad sat in a trolley while my big mate just sat there swinging this trolley around in circles in this car park. I swear to God, if he let go, there, there was going to be a car and an insurance claim. Um, <laughs> but that's not the worst thing I've done. Um, the, the, the toilet, oh, yeah. the toilet our incident our very much takes the cake on that. <laughs> <one. Yep. laughs> Stop fucking laughing, it's bad. Oh, uh, like, uh, fuck's sake. You'll, you'll look back to it eventually and... <laughs> Think of all of the things you got up to. Well, yeah, that's true. I mean, that's where we are now, aren't we? So, um, so yeah, the toilet incident is... Um, so, when I was, like, 15, 16-ish, somewhere around there, um, a mate of mine threw a house party. 
Um, and it was only a small house party, it was a few of us, like a group of mates who came round and he had this like fairly nice house but it was the garden that we were staying in because well his parents didn't want drunk teenagers around the house. So they basically <laughs> set up a few tents and then just kicked us out and we're like, yep, yeah, fucking deal with it. Um, and so they kicked us out into the back garden and, and being teenagers and stuff, all with, all with permission from all parents and parties, internet police, do not sue me. Um, but we were all drinking and stuff, it was quite funny. Um, and just before we got really hammered, um, we went into the town where he lived uh, to go to the local co-op and get some just shit to eat and stuff. You know, snacks and yeah, like yeah, good, yeah. Like good jazz. Um, yep. And we ended up in town and as we walked by <laughs> on the way back, there was this brand new porcelain toilet outside and it, it can only be described as if someone had gone to like an Ikea showroom or something, bought the toilet, and then just left it outside. Like, I, this, is, this is not a grotty, like, drug dealer kind of fucking cesspool of a bin. This shit is like fresh out the showroom. <laughs> and so we like walk past it and I just... I don't know what it was, but I mentally just made a note of it subconsciously. Um, and so <laughs> skip forward a yeah. few hours, lots of drinks later. Um, I was like, I need that toilet. And they were like, what? I was like, I need that toilet. So I so I like crawled my way out this garden and I'm like stumbling along about a block away from this house where I find this porcelain toilet. And I picked it up and just started walking off with it. Um, and my mates are just there they're all around us and they're all around me and they're just shouting at me they're like you don't need a toilet stop put it back you don't need it you don't need it um, and I think I, I put it down and I didn't really think twice about it uh, so this toilet is about like 50 to 100 meters away from where it was in the middle of a road <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah and I can't remember how for the life of me I wish I knew but I just remember waking up the next morning and there's this toilet seat. Mm -hmm. I just open the, open the tent and I'm crawling out, very hungover. <laughs> I just look to my right and there's this toilet seat from this toilet sat next to, against the tent. Um, and my yep. mate's dad is just like, get rid of it before we get told <laughs> off now. So I had to, while hungover, just walk my way like in the opposite direction of this house and um, and bin the toilet seat. Um, and if it's your toilet, I am so sorry. <laughs> but <laughs> but it happened, right? The past is the past. <laughs> yeah, let's hope no one, it's no one's toilet. Very weird though. Just what was the time? When did you find it? What? Okay, so. It was about two in the morning when I actually went off to go get it. But so like, there was a toilet, a brand new toilet in the middle of the road at yeah, two in the morning. Yeah, I, 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 I can't explain what was going through my head. I honestly have no idea to this day. I mean, what is what is more weird, the toilet out there or you picking it up? You know, I think both <laughs> both what? aren't things you see you every imagine, day. Can you imagine you just walk, look outside your window, you see this drunk idiot and three drunk mates behind him shouting at him as he's just walking off with your toilet like like a whole porcelain toilet like what what the yeah. fuck do you do in that situation oh those, those damn fucking teenagers stealing our fucking toilet again like what the fuck do no, you, you do you have to raid it like if they manage to get that far with it then they can have it <laughs> just just cut your losses let them have it fuck yeah it. It's, like, just, it's too much hassle to pursue it just wouldn't psh. wouldn't wouldn't want to get in a fight with that person well, because he's lifting a toilet. They're not actually that heavy. Yeah, no, but he'll throw it at you. <laughs> throw a toilet at someone. Could you imagine? <laughs> I think be I th funny. <laughs> I think funny is an understatement. Not if you're not if, not if you're on the yeah, receiving depends. end. Are you, but... the one, are you the one having a toilet thrown like hurled at you, or are you the one throwing the toilet? Yeah, and drunk. You gotta be drunk to throw a toilet. Yeah, bro, you get that superhuman strength. I don't know, both would be very funny to see. Coincidentally, that is also the reason I never drink Thatchers anymore. That put oh, me yeah, off ciders <laughs> entirely, that whole fiasco. Oh yeah, because it would get you blackout drunk. I mean, it's not the first time I've been blackout drunk. You saw me on um, 
Oh, the other day when I was playing that game of how much vodka can I fit into this bottle oh, yeah. before it's a problem. I remember a, a long while ago, didn't you? Weren't you walking home and you called me on Discord? Oh yeah, so that was that was on a night out, and I just yeah. called you on Discord because I was bored. And I was yeah, just... you were just <laughs> walking back. I don't back. remember much, so you'll have to enlighten me on how bad I was. I don't remember much. You were just like walking home, and I think you wanted me to like check check you like make sure you're fine when you're walking home or something it was really dumb i think it was late for me as well i shouldn't have been awake but i was like eh. don't say it's dumb you looked out for a good you looked out for a yeah idea, okay right? like oh yeah, yeah. Allow it. Make, sure, Allow. Make, sure, make sure no one ran you over oh yeah no apparently that night when i walked back um literally an hour after i got back um my mum sent me a message about the yeah. crash that happened on that road. Oh yeah. Had I been an hour me. later, I may have got hit by a car and died. Like <laughs> that is mad, but also yeah. kind of funny, won't lie. Yeah. Imagine, imagine drunk driving. You, you see it everywhere. You see it everywhere. So like, drunk driving. <laughs> I can't say this, this is going to get me banned already. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stop myself there. Um, but no, it's <laughs> a crash on the road that I was walking down, um, like an oh, hour yeah. after it happened and stuff. It's just, it's mental. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I had a similar thing happen. Was kind this, of. Is this about the crane? No, 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 not the crane. Oh, the crane okay. is a very recent event. This is happened many years ago. Oh, okay. Because I was, I was on vacation to Spain with my family. Yeah, I agree. Uh, we were there for like, yeah, we were there for like a week or so. I don't know. But um, I'm pretty sure our hotel was on a street called Las Ramblas or whatever. It was something like that. Um, uh, one day, when we like went home, we got home from vacation, you know, unpacked, like, everything like that. I woke up the next morning, I'm pretty sure we saw there was... A, Kind of like a terrorist attack, a guy plowed through a crowd on that street. What the fuck? Yeah. Well, like a full on, like... Yes. Let me, let me, let me Google it. <laughs> Google it, put pictures, put pictures in the title. Uh, <laughs> I, I think this is it. Jesus. 13 killed as a Van Ram's crowds in Las Ramblas. Oh my god. That was like a week after we came home or something. Or maybe less. I don't remember, but it was like very recent. Do you reckon he was hunting down the toilet? <laughs> Probably looking for one. Probably looking for who, who stole his after he left it on a street in the UK. What? It's, it's, <laughs> it's southwest UK. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, he's so angry. He just went to Spain to run down people and find his toilet. Well, clearly. I mean, I don't know, bro. You never know. You do never know. That's the thing. You honestly don't. Life is have just crazy. stolen, stolen, and took it and took it to Spain. You know. Um. Oh, mate. It was f oh, I had it like literally like just before sitting down to record this. Um. I was having a few pints with a couple mates. You know, back from Christmas holidays at university, and like, you know, how oh, oh, he's still alive. His pint. Have a good laugh and all that. Um, yeah. And we were just talking about. Um, I was talking about um, Sam and his plethora of knowledge. You, you know who Sam is. Yeah, I know Sam. Um, absolute funny guy. So funny, but it's, uh, it is what it is. Um, and so I was talking about the time that when he was like in secondary, about 16-ish, he threw a house mm -hmm. party. Um, yeah. And it sounded like an absolute dumpster fire of a house party <laughs> it was okay. a monstrosity um and so anyway there was this kid in this house party among other problems he he basically he went to fart to make it you know to make a, a thing out of it like hey guys listen to this fart it's gonna be funny um and he okay. kind of overcommitted a little bit okay um, and he point. ended up farting and so hard that he shit himself um Okay. And when he shit himself, he was commando, effectively. But he had like those, he had those like surfers shorts on, if you know what I'm on about. Uh, and, maybe I'll look it up. Yeah, so it's like shorts, and then on the inside they have like this mesh like net type thing 
<laughs> oh, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, and, and the only way I can describe the use of those when mixed with this shit is, um, is a strainer. So all the juice and liquid just went straight through and the solids got caught, but it just leaked down his leg and onto the carpet, this massive stain. Just yeah. shit himself and there's this <laughs> massive shit stain on the carpet, this liquid shit stain. Um, okay. And Sam, in all of his infinite wisdom, in the perfect mental state to make decisions while incredibly drunk, he just comes in, kicks the guy out, grabs a Stanley knife, and just cuts a hole in the carpet, about one by one by two meter hole, yeah. meters of carpet, <laughs> just rips out the chunk of carpet and puts a rug over it, and he's just like, yeah, this is fine. And so when his parents yeah. come home, walk into the room where this happened, and just see like, because obviously the rug and stuff is just like, it's fine around the edges, but obviously it dips where the carpet drops, and it's like, because yeah. it's like wooden floorboards, but the carpet obviously adds the extra height around the edges. And so it's yeah. so clear that something's in the way and a problem. And they just move the fucking rug. And he has to explain to them why this guy shit himself at a party that he shouldn't have thrown. Um, mm. The fucking killer to this story and why I'm saying I was talking with uni mates about it is that I'm, with uni, I'm at uni with a couple mates that I've obviously known since home. I didn't really know them until college, but I've known them from back home, and they've come up, and here we are. Uh, yeah. So, my mate just, he's, we're walking out of this bar, we've had a few pints and whatnot, we're just talking, he's like, I know this one guy who shit himself at a party, it was at Sam, insert second name party here, and I said, no <laughs> fucking way, that is the Sam I was on about. He goes, <laughs> he goes, Nah, 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 you're, 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 you're fucking with me. And I was like, no, 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 you have found the guy. After all these years, you have found the guy <laughs> who was shit himself at this party. And I just was fucking, oh, mate, it was, I, I tell you what, it, it, sometimes it really can be a small world. I never understood the saying until then, but that is, <laughs> that, that is, wow. <laughs> when the fuck would that ever happen? Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. It never happened to me, but it sounds interesting. Well, you've never just like had a story and then not known parts about it and someone's just come up to you and, and then just all of a sudden it connects. It's like a fucking, like putting the last piece into a puzzle. No, oh, really, I don't know. I don't really tell many stories, to be honest. I'm not a story person. Yeah, but you don't just sit there like and collect them. You may not tell them, but do you not have any? Uh, I don't know. I'm f I forget a lot. Forget a lot. I don't really blame you, mate. I'll tell you what, I'm forgetful. Half the time I wake up in the morning, I don't even know what I'm going to have to eat. Like, oh, yeah. Or, correction, I don't even know what I've had to eat. I'll oh, wake yeah, up in yeah. the morning, I'll be like, uh, I have had food? <laughs> Something mm. like that? Yeah. Well, oh, mate, that's, that's the best lifestyle, that. The one where you just wake up and think to yourself, what did I actually eat? <laughs> So go on then, yeah. what, what, what interests you then? What, 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 what like in the world, what, what sort of has your interest? Let's get to know you a bit. I mean, I, mean, I don't know, I'm pretty boring. I mean, like I guess video games, you know, pretty big thing nowadays. Yeah, did you see that yeah. demographic a while back where it was like a third of the world plays games? I think, I, I don't know if I saw it, but I heard about it. Mate, it's, it's mental to think that, that you walk in, you're walking down the street, one, statistically, one in three people, one yeah. in every three people you meet have played and do play video games. Of all varieties. How, yeah, exactly. Well, that's the thing. It's like, I walked past a mom who plays Candy Crush on her phone. I don't think, see, I don't think we share the same knowledge of games. Yeah, but you I can classify her as a gamer, but like... Yeah, but I think that comes down to the, like, the argument of like what do, it define yeah as you say define gamer but then also like there's different levels of gamer and there's like the casual gamer and i think someone who's just playing candy crush on their phone or whatever technically by definition they are a gamer uh, yes they, they are a gamer very much so but, but like... they're so casual that it doesn't really like it doesn't matter if that makes yeah sense. very basic 
but I mean, if you enjoy it, fine, but it's very, I don't know. God, what kind of games are you into? What kind of games I'm into? Um, I don't know, it really depends. Um, it's, I don't know, very varied. Sometimes, like racing games, stuff like that, Forza Need for Speed. Yeah. Uh, I really enjoy Souls games, Dark Souls, those types of games. Um, shooters, that's a big so, one. So what you're telling me is you're a masochist. Yeah, basically. You hate yourself. Who doesn't, who doesn't enjoy a bit of pain, you know? I, I fucking don't. My current playthrough of El... I mean, you've seen my current playthrough of Elden Ring. I have brought maximum pain to myself. Yeah, but it's not enough. Gotta get back into it. What do you mean, not enough? I'm playing a fucking prisoner with a fucking club. I've never played a Souls game in my life. You don't even have a club anymore. You have more than a club. You're like a sword. Oh, yeah, sorry. My bad. Let me just correct that one for you, Chief. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Come yeah, on. Yeah, I wouldn't want to offend ride. the Elden Ring gods in their infinite no. wisdom. No, it's not a club, bro. Jeez. Sake. What kind of caveman are you? Well, I was a caveman at the start of the game. Yeah, but... You're not a caveman anymore, which is what matters. It's because you and uh, and that other lass, they like you two fucking banned me from using the club. You mean you mean the no mage? no I mean you banned yeah you banned me from you like playing mage and shit. Fuck the alcohol started uh, to hit. Like yeah, but it's more for you than for us. I know it's more it's, I know it's more painful, but that's not the only thing. It, it, later on, yes, it's very easy. But starting out as a mage, you get such shit spells. It's really hard to start out yeah but like i want to come and, and ha something into the fucking sick yeah dimension. you get to do that late game but the thing is if you gain experience using normal weapons till that point you'll be as good and you'll enjoy the game more oh but it's effort though isn't it it really isn't just, <laughs> just really play isn't. the game and you'll see like there's so many cool armor sets and weapons and like I'll allow faith. That's that's a thing I'll allow because most faith abilities are like. Oh yeah, what like... do I look like? The fucking Christ the Redeemer or some shit? What do you mean? Like yeah, I'm going to come them... down from heaven and bless people with oh he get me. You believe in God, so I'm gonna yeah. give you the right to use this book and read some shit and just <laughs> fireball here. Yeah. Like what the fuck? You want yeah, about? yeah, 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 yeah. But literally, if you get enough faith, you can get a giant fireball. You can shoot not the small ones you've seen. No, a giant. Yeah, but like. Fuck them, you know. I want to make them look like the fucking dinosaurs and just send down this massive, absolute, like, heart, like micro planet-sized meteor. And just... Basically, what it is. It's basically what it is. Exactly. Just I just want to send them to the fucking eighth dimension. You won't even let me do that. Yeah, you can do that with faith. Oh, what? Because Jesus willed it so. Yes. I don't... Well, even though it's faith, it's not all about God. You can. Literally three or four of the abilities are about like being holy. The rest are like fucking lightning and ice and making your weapon do more bleed damage. Oh yeah, so I'm such a holy fucker that, that like all of a sudden I've been granted what I can only describe as divine intervention. Yes, basically. Fuck. You wouldn't want that. <laughs> Yeah, 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 fuck everything this game has to offer. I'm finna smite them with the power of Zeus himself. I mean, honestly, the, there's like a weapon I have that's basically a big piece from a dragon. And it requires faith to use. And I wouldn't exactly call it, you know, a faithful weapon, I guess. Oh <laughs> my god. Yeah, no, not very faithful. Just pulled that shit straight from fucking what I can only describe as Aragon. Yeah. And, and, it's the, the but like, that show, is it? most of the faith spells are incantations, which means you can summon them from your hand instead of a staff. Oh, fuck yeah, just spawn exactly. shit from, from nothing. Yeah, it looks cooler, bro, instead of a staff, you know. What do you want to be, Harry Potter? Yeah, bro, I want to be B-Tech Harry Potter. I want to whip a tree out from the forest, a little fucking trap or no. something, and be like... No. And just kaboom, then there's like, uh, I, I, don't know, I don't even know how to describe it. Yeah, but you don't? That's the thing. Well, because I'm not a mage. Yeah. You're a prisoner. That's just toxic, bro. Yeah. I'm gonna need to rub that shit in. Well, it's how it be, you know. I do well, like. I do find it quite funny the uh, the plot of the game so far. As someone who's never played a Souls game, to just like randomly load into one and play it, 
I know it's a bit of a spin-off, so it doesn't really count, so take this with a grain of salt, if you will. But it's... The, the, they keep talking about me being maidenless. Like, I didn't realise I was getting personally attacked loading up this game. What the fuck? I, I mean, yeah. And uh, in my opinion, the Elden Ring, Ring, Elden Ring lore is way easier to catch on to but, rather than Dark Souls, because there's, like, there's cutscenes every now and again, but it's mostly just self-hatred. So you don't really remember much. Self-hatred and pain. And that yeah. is, that's what fuels the game. Yeah, honestly. I, I, I do I do find that quite funny, to be fair. I think that's uh, that's quite entertaining. Yeah, it's fun though. You, you, you learn to enjoy oh, it. Oh yeah, nothing brings more joy like wanting to fucking bend my keyboard over my knee and fucking punch a hole in my graphics card. It's yeah. not that bad. Come on, bro. Come on. I haven't done that. It's not that bad. Yeah, because you restrain some levels of self-restraint. <laughs> you exercise self-restraint. Yeah, like, you, you should do the same then. Yeah, but why would I do that? I mean, you've seen me play For Honor. I have. It's like a dumpster fire. Like some, like I mean, it's not as bad as us playing Siege, to be fair. Oh yeah, no, a Siege, Siege is just, a, well, it's an experience, is what it is. I tell you what, playing Siege is funny as fuck. I say, the argument between us as to who's better and who's worse, I'd say you're consistently very good at the game. But I am yeah. like, I am like a fucking wave. One day I will be God himself. And then the next day I will be the most bottom frag, trash piece of shit teammate you've ever had. And there is no in between. I am one or the other. I mean, yeah, I've had days where I'm just very bad at the game yeah, and I can't really do much you've got way more time playing like PC games than I do I mean I've only been at that's like true. a year and a bit yeah that's true but like I don't know I'll I'm tell you what it's I just experience experience <laughs> I'll tell you what though I did not mix that drink appropriately holy shit that tastes disgusting am I gonna drink the whole thing though yes absolutely you know me you should you should oh fucking I'm not gonna bombs up though. Not like that. Ugh. <laughs> How much vodka did we put the other night? It was like 18 shots or something. I don't know. I left like after a bit. So. Yeah. I, I d for the, for the record, I don't condone vodka. I'm not a huge vodka drinker, but I have learnt the power of the vodka squash mix. It is a disgusting combination with way too much power. A lone vodka is very mid. I can drink it with mid, but my vodka is good for mixing. Oh, it's very good for oh. mixing. Yes. Because it's it, it doesn't really have any flavor. Well, it tastes like, like a fucking average paint alcohol. stripper. Yeah, exactly. Just has like <laughs> al average alcohol, like pain. It's almost like the time that um, my mate my mate just walks up to me in the in the, in the like bar or whatever, and he hands me this shot, and he's just like, "Oh yeah, take it." So there's a group of four of us. We all take this shot or whatever, um, and he's just like, "Oh yeah, by the way, that was 85 percent." I just looked at him. I was like, "I fucking know." At what point do I just go up to like a fucking fuel station, grab the petrol nozzle and just start guzzling, like, it just, <laughs> the ethanol content's that high anyway, I'd be sa I'd probably be saving the middleman, skip the middleman, fuck the pre-drinking, yeah, let's just drink straight ethanol. Yeah, bro, I mean, if it gets you drunk, you know, it's worth it. It, it won't, straight ethanol does way worse things than get you drunk. No, I know. <laughs> oh, fuck it hell. I remember Toby was telling me once about uh, this mate he had in a in a chemistry class that got he basically he lost the bet so he had to drink some pure ethanol and this kid was oh, yeah. shit he didn't understand the the like consequences that that had um, and so Toby eh? so Toby just tells him I like don't drink that don't drink that whatsoever and the guy just drinks like and he's like he's so proud of himself he just looks over he's like oh I just drank pure ethanol look at me. Um, and Toby's just like, you dumbass, you need to go now. Go to the <laughs> hospital, get your fucking... Like, and, and the kid did, he had to go to the hospital to get his stomach pumped because he drank pure ethanol and thought there wouldn't be a problem with that. What the fuck? I must say, thing, bro, is just Martino something we don't. He does, he does. <laughs> Maybe he's just built different. David Martinez style, is it? It really is, it really is. Just, he's just going ham at it. He's just like, oh, fuck it. Let's just... <laughs> what's what's next? He's just going to mush up some papers. Oh, fuck. That reminds me, actually. There was this kid in secondary school. Year seven. 
Um, he used to on breaks. For whatever reason, I cannot remember why this came about or why he did it. He'd smash up a bag of what's it, line it up like a line of coke, and then just <laughs> and just snort, snort the line of these what's it. I remember one time he just snorts a line of what's it and just passes out. And not one of us had a, at the time, not one of us had a single concern for his health. And basically oh. just left him in the room on his own, passed out as we just walked out. Looking back, that was horrible to do, but holy shit. It's also fucking funny looking back. What was going through that guy's head? He was just like, oh, I'm bored, fuck it. Oh, I got what's it. Smash, smash, smash. <laughs> like, <I> mean, <laughs> what was he doing? I don't know, bro. Honestly, <laughs> UK schools just... <laughs> what, are you done trying to understand UK schools? Yeah. Too much going on. Oh, fuck it, you're telling me, mate. Every day, some bullshit would happen, and you'd think to yourself, "What the fuck?" <laughs> like there used to be an argument about. So the boys obviously got up to a lot of devious acts in the boys' room. Not not sexual, <laughs> but definitely not stuff yeah. that the school conduct would allow, if you will. Okay. Um, and I remember the the school's counter to this problem is that they they basically got the janitors to take the doors off, so all the boys' bathroom <laughs> didn't have doors. Um, and so the boys, pissed off, uh, were campaign. They went out and they started campaigning, and they were like, "You know, okay. th th this isn't equally fair. The girls have doors, we don't. We should get our door back." So the school solved the yeah. problem by taking the girls' doors. <laughs> so no toilets in that school had doors because the boys lost it for doing <laughs> questionable activities in the bathroom. <laughs> and then the girls lost it because they campaigned saying it was unfair that the girls had doors but the boys didn't, so we should get ours back. <laughs> and the girls were like, no, you're not getting yours back, so sorry girls, yours is gone. <laughs> it was just, it, honestly, the uproar that that brought when the girls lost their door. Holy <laughs> shit, it was mad. Yeah. It was like, um... it was like the time that, close to the vote towards Brexit, um, the... Um, yeah, so the school did this like mock election, if you will, of like how it all goes down. It was meant as an education yeah. thing to like treat, to like teach kids and stuff how voting and stuff works. No, fuck no. It was a lit, it was all rigged. The year oh. 11s, including like <laughs> our lot and stuff, because I was in about year 11 at the time, year 10, 11 at the time. They all went around and just bribed the year sevens. They were like, yeah, <laughs> vote, vote, leave, vote, leave. <laughs> and the year sevens were like, yeah, fuck it, it'll be funny, yeah, yeah. <laughs> leave one in that, that rigged election, leave one, leave one by like 70% of voters. <laughs> to say that the teachers weren't impressed is an understatement. <laughs> But I mean, it tell it shows you what happens. Some of the shenanigans. It's just one kid with an idea, like, "Oh yeah, fuck it, vote leave, do it now," and just forces them into it. It's, it's fucking funny though. Yeah, that's oh. all you need. Just one kid with an idea. One kid with an idea is all it takes. I mean, yep. that's how that's how we ended up here, isn't it? So. Uh... Yeah. Oh Jesus, that's funny, is it? Uh, but like. Go on then, Wolfie, go on. You have to have some funny stories from school. Funny stories? I, I can think. Um, there was this one where I remember um, those little floor tile thingies yeah. you, that you can push up. Oh, oh, the roof tile things, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that you can like, push up and yeah, there's usually, usually cables and stuff up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, in secondary, I think, we had those in our like changing rooms for like when we're going to have uh, PE or whatever. Oh fuck. Um, a lot of devious things happen in there. I'll, I'll have you know. Oh, no, we don't um, talk about the changing rooms. We got like a whole fucking yeah. podcast episode of changing room stories. If you if you want to. What happened is, I think we stole like a chair from some room at some point, and we just hit it up there, up in the tiles. Just and wait, I remember like a whole ass fucking chair. A chair, like a. Not, not with wheels, but just like a normal like, chair. <laughs> we just like picked up we had, a chair and just hit it in the ceiling. It, we had stolen it from a classroom and just put it <laughs> up there. And then I remember when we were done with secondary, it was still there. So I don't know if it's there to this day. So, uh, might be. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. I remember um, 
when we started secondary, um, being in secondary school, obviously everyone's fucking stupid. I swear to God, the stories you get from secondary school are unparalleled. Oh yeah, there's there's many. At the time, it's just such a like it's such an annoying thing to do, but like after it, looking back, secondary was a fucking blast. Oh yeah. It was like honestly, it was such a fever dream with half the shit that went on. Like, I, I like. It's always, it's always yeah. secondary school. That's the, the I guess, the worst. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think you're right. I mean, you you pretty much summed it up quite well. Um, yeah, bro. But I remember there was, so, the long and the short of it is, is there was like a borderline food fight that happened, and you had these lockers in the. So there's this. Uh, you walk into this classroom, and it's yeah. in like the corner of the room. This door. Um, and it leads into lockers on the wall to the right, which has the projector and stuff on it. And then all the way through to the left is like all the desks and shit. It's like this giant, like rectangular room, if you will. Um, and what happened was, is there was this borderline food fight from everyone eating in this place um, on lunch and stuff. Um, and this guy just, I don't even know how he got there. I just remember walking into Chew the next morning and somehow some guy had lobbed a slice of cucumber above these lockers, which bear in mind are like two, three meters tall. Up okay. above that, like a good meter above that, is this cucumber slice that's stuck to the wall. <laughs> like fucking super glue. And and I just remember leaving secondary school and that cucumber slice had only then, four years after it was put up there, fallen off the wall. It, um. it just disappeared one day and I'm pretty sure it wasn't even because the cucumber actually fell off. I'm pretty sure it's because uh, like a cleaner or something had to take <laughs> it down. But this cucumber, this slice of cucumber, oh my god, if you ever want to watch the life cycle of a plant... You should have just seen this cucumber. Yeah, you had it all there. It was like growing and it was decaying. <laughs> it was it was honestly disgusting, but it was funny as fuck. Yeah. Because you just walk in in the morning, look up and be like, oh yeah, no, the cucumbers there. That's that's good to know. It's good to know. Nothing's changed. We're still here. Yeah. Um. I also remember in secondary. Um. There was this, someone had this milk carton that they oh, got during fuck. lunchtime. Oh fuck. Yeah, so in in programming class, at the very back of that classroom, there was these like small drawers, I guess. Yeah. Uh, for like each student that where they can put their stuff in or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, they took the milk carton, threw it in there, closed it, and each week we would have programming lessons. So we would check in that drawer each week to take a fat whiff and then, <laughs> and then close it up again. And I remember one day we, I remember one day we were checking up on it and the teacher saw us. Oh. <laughs> so he walked up in there and was not impressed. <laughs> That's what they would like back do you remember back when like sharpies were the thing it's like hey guy get, get a one for this just have some guy yeah. hand you a sharpie and you, you'd be More like that. i'm so cool <laughs> oh yeah it smells like violet like what what the fuck were you even on about at the time oh sharpies jesus christ but that sounds absolutely rank oh yeah how bad did it get how long did it last uh, I don't know. It was there for a few weeks. Maybe over a month. I don't know. Room <laughs> 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 temperature <disgusting>. classroom. <laughs> Room temperature milk for a few, like a month. Something like that. Oh, mate. That must have been so chunky. Like I'm glad I didn't have to throw it out. It was like some, like two other students that went and had to do it. What, why did they have to? Why did they have to? Did they put it there? I don't know if he just figured out that they did it or what. Because it was mainly like one or two people that came up with the idea to put it in there. And the rest <laughs> of us just watched. How do you sell that to your mates though? Just like, hey, hey boys, hey boys, right, I've got a plan. So I've got this milk and I, I just want to hide it in the IT room drawer. I don't, I don't know. We just we just saw a crowd of people around the drawers. So we're like, what's going on? We went there and it was a milk carton. Fucking hell, that's just, oh, that is amazing, that, that is, that, wow. Yeah. Jesus Christ, what a monstrosity. I, I, yeah. I, I honestly, swear, like, I don't even know how, 
Uh, what's the closest thing? I mean, I did turn my mate's locker into a self-sufficient ecosystem once. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Did I ever tell you this story? Uh, I, maybe. I think so. Oh, mate. Well, basically, what happened was, is that, um, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ryan. I'm just going to put it out there. I am sorry, mate. Uh, but I had a ham sandwich, and I didn't really want it, so I just left it in his locker. And I didn't think twice about it. I didn't know at the time that he doesn't use his locker, like, ever. <laughs> um, and so this ham sandwich started to harden and, like, go stale and shit. Oh, um, no. And so what happened was, is that this progressively got worse because people started catching on that he didn't use his locker. And I remember for oh, his sixteenth no. birthday, I bought him sixteen liters of apple juice. I can't remember why or how, but anyway, we ended up with sixteen liters of apple juice, and he just left some of the spare stuff in his locker to bring home with him. And what happened was, mm -hmm. is while he was away, someone blew up one of the cartons, and so apple oh. juice just blew up all over the inside of this locker, coating the stale sandwich, and there was other <laughs> shit in this locker. <laughs> God. And it was just an absolute shit show. It was just all in shambles. Um, and progressively, as the weeks went on and the days turned to weeks and weeks turned to months, more and more progressive like food would end up in there. And it all obviously started getting moldy and disgusting. And near the uh, end of our time uh, at that school, um, Ryan had to obviously say, look, I need a hand cleaning out my locker. People have been dumping <laughs> shit in there. He didn't want to rat us out, and I, like, I get that. Um, but he had to obviously own up, because it needed to be clean for the next poor fucker that had that lot. Um, and so the cleaners come in, and I remember when they were, quote, done cleaning, um, he opens the locker, and half the paint of the inside of this locker has been scraped out. The mold and shit was that... In intertwined with that locker's existence that it made it under the paint into the wall of the <laughs> locker almost eating its way through to the surrounding lockers um, and he just like so there's this grotty locker now which is clean in quotes um, but it's like the, god knows what monstrosities or like <laughs> concoction of like vile bacteria we'd created um, and so he just scrapes out the inside of this shit and just, oh no, it'll be fine. Um, and so I remember like a few weeks after that deep cleaning happened, yes, the bacteria started to grow. Oh no. It regrew. So by that point I had made, I had started and technically made a self-sufficient ecosystem inside this guy's locker and i am so sorry ryan i am so sorry but even you have to understand the marvel of biology that i created in that locker it was honestly like a yeah. science project <laughs> yeah bro it's that's how it is to be honest it just it just ends up being like that it's, it's, <laughs> oh, fuck those it. kinds of moments you, you're proud of Secondary school, what a fucking time, yeah. honestly. You just, looking back, as I said before, it's one of those things that you just hate during the time. You think to yourself, like, why the fuck am I here? What am I doing? Um, yeah. And I don't inherently disagree with that, because even now I look back, I think it was a waste of time. But I tell you what, the characters that you meet there are just like a different breed. Yeah, the, <laughs> that's like peak. It is, um, it is so good. It is, it, it, ah, oh, you just can't, you can't beat it. Honestly, it's um, wow. Uh, I don't, I don't even know what to say. It just all, it just all happened so fast for five years, five oh, years yeah. of my life, and it's just whoosh, gone. There you go, secondary done, and then <sighs> college done, and then here I am university yeah wow oh, it goes fast it really does go fast doesn't it <laughs> yeah it didn't it, it felt it felt like it took a while while we were in well like i was in secondary but 
I don't know. Now that I'm not there, it felt like it went by by so quickly. I know it really, it, it really did. But I mean, I guess that that comes down to people's perception of time. But to yeah. be honest, mate, um, I think we'll call that one there. It yeah. has been an absolute pleasure. Thank you, yep. everyone who tunes in. Um, it's all greatly appreciated. If you like what you're seeing. Uh, there'll be another episode within a week or so, depending on what you know, what sort of time we've got. Um, but thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Wolfie, have you got anything to say on the on the way out? No, not really. Just hope everyone enjoyed. Um, it was a pleasure, as always. Yep. If you obviously, if you liked it and stuff, please do leave a like. If you didn't, then leave a dislike. That's perfectly fine. Any comments are greatly appreciated. You know what? If you are feeling like typing a comment, let us know some of your secondary school like, oh, yeah. incidents and stuff. Uh, it started out as drunk incidents, and here we are in secondary school. So I think that's a pretty natural conversation for us. Um, yeah, hopefully, good. next episode we will have a guest on the show, so he can enlighten us on some of his life stories yep. um, thank you for tuning in I've been Josh or Fridge um, Wolfie I've been Wolfie or Ned nice to meet you all and you guys have a good one keep it real in a bit <laughs>